Hello? It doesn't have a USB cord. I take a little photo shoot with it. I was a big Barbie, Barbie kid. I loved the Barbies. I mean, I had the Barbie house, I had the Barbie car, I had Barbie everything. Oh, Legos, obviously. I still have all of my Legos. I had so many Hot Wheels. I actually had one of those stair sets that you like build on top of the stairs and you, and you like start it off down up here and then like zoom, zoom, zoom all the way down there. I was also obsessed with marbles. So as you can tell, I like things to like race basically. I always like jets. I like ball, playing ball. But you know what? You had to have a great imagination when I was growing up. My husband and I still look for an instruction manual and there are no instruction manuals and kids really are not afraid to try new things. I don't understand how they just figure it all out without an instruction manual. Okay. Baby, how old you think I am? Oh, I think this is a sifter. I would think like my first instinct would be like to like sift flour or like mash something like potatoes or something. I can't see it being anything else but a seal. I don't know. I've never seen this in my whole life. There's no museum, no encyclopedia, nothing. No TV show, nothing. What is it? So this is just called a food mill. A food mill is a food preparation utensil used for mashing and seeding soft food. Do you think anyone still uses it? Not in the city. Maybe if you go a little far out, you might. Wait, honey. No, baby, I have never in my life. I don't believe my grandmother had nothing like this. What is this? Y'all don't know. I was supposed to know. I was supposed to know what this is. It looks like a coat hanger. What is this? I know what this is. This is chalk. I don't know what this is. Um, Why don't you put the chalk in the chat? <laughs> but it's too close. If you just gave me this, I'd probably say like, you're like a key holder. But then you gave me the chalk and I do not know what this is. Did people actually play with this? <gasps> Do you launch the, do you launch it? Wait, ow, that really hurt. Hmm, that hurt. I'm a retired school teacher. This is so great. Y'all didn't know what this was? I'll show you how this works. The teacher would line up the chalk in this contraption. I don't know who invented this, it's a genius. To simulate what paper would look like on the chalkboard, so they took it and they would drag this across the chalkboard and then she could write and teach handwriting on the board because it simulated like your paper. Okay, wait, like this? Mm -hmm. Shut up, wait. <gasps> that's so cool. It's like, oh, that's so, that's so smart. Did you know children can't read cursive? Is that not the craziest thing? You can write anything you want to in cursive and it is just like Spanish or French or, you know what I'm saying? They're like, what is that? We had this lesson on it that was supposed to last all year, and they were like, yeah, every morning before we come in, we're gonna do our cursive book. What happened to it? Y'all are finding some stuff. <laughs> oh. Now this is cool. This is, this is dope, I love it. Oh, this is heavy. Oh my gosh, wait. Okay, so it's obviously a film camera. Okay, now this is some kind of camera. And you know what? I think this is the camera they used to eight millimeter years. They used to use it to pay, make movies. These were everywhere, but the home movies were shot on this. Like Christmas and it was real grainy, but then we would put a sheet up or a screen if you were really uptown and watch these. Oh, I haven't seen one in so long. I see a W, an A, an N, and a tell. So like, 
I'm assuming that tell means television. This came along after me because this has wide angle and um, zoom. They called it telescoping, I guess, because it's T-E-L. I know like with some camera film, like it has to be developed. So maybe it was also developed. Oh, you like, it would like, the picture frames would like, on a strip and like it, like on a wheel and it plays. Oh, and then they put it on a, on a VCR, on one of those big bricks and, and then you watch it on there. So how would you watch them? How would you watch the movies? Through a, like a little real a real thing. Mm -hmm. Oh no, sir. We we the hell in that. We have a TV and a radio. I mean, I mean, we would we could have made some really great movies because we were really crazy when I was growing up. But it probably got me in trouble because I probably would have used it for the wrong thing. I was known for that also. I think it's where the little tape. Yep. Yep. See, there's where the little reel went, and you put the film in there. <gasps> That noise, I hadn't heard that noise in years. Now we're on our phone. And you just hold your phone up and shoot a video. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love these. Oh yes, I know exactly what this is and I had one as a child. Oh my, my, my. Let me tell you something. When I got married, my ex-husband had every one of his, he had this, and he had every one of his things, and they were like brand new. <gasps> Vacation Bible School, yes, yes, I, I would get one of these, and then like it was like, um, you know, John 3, 16, it was like da 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 da, -da. Um, and it had different Bible verses, and it had different like themes. Wait, no, it changed. Yeah, I definitely had one of these. I think I had, I remember it had sea animals in it. And I, and my brother has one too. And he's nine. I feel like this is a pretty timeless item. I don't know how long it's been around. I don't know if it's been like since the 80s. And I guess it would just entertain us for hours. And we would swap discs with friends and stuff. Oh, the 60s. Hmm. <laughs> The pictures are so vivid. I mean, he had, and he had them in the original uh, containers that came in, the packaging and everything. I mean, and my son, when he got old enough, baby, he told them babies, oh. Oh, this is amazing. And what always boggled my mind about this, and I just figured it out. This is embarrassing. I always thought that they had a little light in there because it looks like, you know, a little spotlight is shining on it. But I just realized that it uses the light. That's why this is here, I think. That makes sense, right? Oh, uh, see, and it looks like the penguins are like, how did they make it 3D? I mean, these were in the early days of television. There was not a whole lot going on. So this is a rotary telephone and I don't know how to use it. Sadly, it's very cute. Oh, I always told my mom I wanted one of these. I was like, this would be so cool, mom. I still have one of these on the wall in my downstairs that was there when we bought our house. And a little boy came to play at our house and he had to call his mom, tell him it was time to go. He goes, can you help me? I don't know what to do with this. Oh yeah, I know what this is, telephone baby. Girl, let me see how heavy it is heavy, but that blows black ones. <laughs> they were really heavy. We're gonna attempt it. So, like I've, like, okay, I did the four. Then I, I don't know, like, I don't know whether, I guess it's to stop. I don't know if I just dialed four, five or not. You do two, and then you go to O, and then you go all the way over. Five and bring it all the way over. Oh, that was the worst thing. Cause like when you, uh, if you're trying to sneak on the phone at night, your mama could hear it when it went back around. So you had to do it right. Ah! Achoo! So she couldn't hear it. <laughs> My grandmother loved talking to her sisters on the phone and she got these extra long cords so she could walk all around 
and dust and do whatever and still be talking to her sisters. And it has this line in thing, and I do know about that. I had, we have one of these in like every room in our house. We would plug in the house phone and like move it around and my mom would be like, where did y'all move the house phone? But that was like only for like the first like few years of my life and then we didn't have a house phone anymore. We only used our cell phones, that was crazy. Many times I have had conversations with my parents about rotary phones and they said, do you want, do you know how to use it? I say no. And then the conversation ends. And then there was phone pranking, that was the best. You'd call the drugstore, you'd look up the number. Do you have Prince Albert in the can? And th that used to be like some tobacco. And they'd go, yes, yeah. you better let him out. He's running away, huh? And then hang up. Or is your refrigerator running? You better go catch it. I mean, prank calls. You can't do that now because everybody knows who's calling. My grandson could not figure out that telephone. He saw that phone, he's like, what in the world? Because caller ID probably stopped the prank phone calls. Now they're just robocalls about your car warranty. Hey y'all, if you like this video and you wanna make It's a Southern Thing possible, then come join us at the Potluck. You'll get exclusive merch, a look behind the scenes of what we're doing, uh, discounts on all of our merchandise, and so much more. What are you waiting for? Come join us at the Potluck.